by hustling, it is proving with your actions that, hey, there's nothing special about me. I just put in an insane amount of work every single day to be able to provide the lifestyle that I want to live for my family. What's your view before? I know a lot of your conversation was about uh, the hustle, right? Um, it was about um, getting into that daily grind and just working your face absolutely off. Um, and you went through some different um, uh, changes. Um, you went through some some heart changes. You know, some uh, some perspective changes. Uh, what is your view now on hustle? Do you still have the same posture towards it um, uh, when it comes to work every area of your life? You know, hustle is an interesting word. I think it it conjures up this negative connotation from people because they think hustle is in kind of like taking advantage or manipulating or trying to like pull one over on someone. Like you think of like somebody on the streets got the, get, has a hustle. It's like there's a negative, like they're doing something maybe unethical or you know something like that. But, but really hustle is just like a level of activity that's extraordinary, um, that's beyond what's normal. And so I think the evolution for me is really just taking the hustle that I was putting into the work and taking that same level of effort and putting it into the other areas. Um, so like, I mean, it sounds silly to say like hustle with your family <laughs> just because of that word hustle, but it really is, you know, like if, if you think of hustle as the mindset of you know, elevating your level of effort, elevating your intent, elevating your focus and being more efficient, and more effective. If that's what you view hustle as, then the time with your family should be a hustle. Um, and so, so yes, yeah, so, I mean, like for me, there was a big change that happened about a year and a half ago. Um, it was when I first started coaching with Sean uh, Whalen. And, you know, we sat down for a day and he kept asking me, like, why are you putting out all this content? So after literally 10 hours of him asking me why and what does that mean, he was like, uh, he's like, hey, man, I'm going to go get some drinks. Um, I just want you to write down everything you're thinking right now. So he left for about 20 minutes. He came back and he's like, all right, I want you to just read word for word what you wrote. And on the top of the page, I wrote, what type of legacy am I really leaving if my daughter's going to have to watch these videos? to hear the things that I should be telling her in person. And Sean was like, bingo. And so for me, like I came like at that point, you know, I was, that was in my height of traveling, you know, 230 nights in a hotel that year. And I came home for two and a half months, just home, just didn't hit the road. And looking back on that though, it was really a, just a transition of the hustle in the work which was still there but it was transitioning that hustle to home and again that hustle being that like intense focus energy effort efficiency effectiveness towards my daughter towards my wife towards all the other areas of my life and so you know i, I always talk about going all in in all areas and it's hustling in all areas you know if, if you're going to be at home like make the most out of that time that you're at home.